You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather, coverage you can count on. And here we are now looking live with the Alert California camera over the Deer Fire in Tehama County. You see the haze, but uh, not a lot of uh, smoke plume uh, is obvious there in that shot. Looking a lot better, even though there are evacuation orders in effect. And Chief Meteorologist Howie Gordon is tracking fire conditions and extreme heat. Howie? Yes, and most of the year, for the most part, is, is, is getting on the gooder side in terms of overall air quality. Some spots that were sensitive have returned to moderate and getting closer to normal air, if, there, if there's a word for that. All right, South Forks camera, this is our alert. California live cam once again. This is in Shasta County looking off towards the northwest. Okay, so our alert California cam and warm overnight, sunny and dry, hot conditions continue. And I just said that dangerous heat well into next week. Thus, we have an excessive heat warning that goes through the weekend, through Monday, and into all of Tuesday for now, unless they change that. Plus, we also have the heat advisories in the orange in those higher elevations where temperatures can still reach 110 degrees. So pretty much dangerous heat no matter where you go or how high you climb here in Northern California. Here's our low temperatures. So for the most part, by the time we get down into the 70s, the mid to upper 70s, we're going to start warming up again. So that's not too long that we do actually get a little bit of some relief and a cool down, unless you are in those higher elevations where you'll see 100 degree temperatures, but you cool down to 60 or upper 50s in some of those spots. That's not too bad. But here's what happens tomorrow. Records are going to fall. We're looking at temperatures between 115 and 117 degrees for the valley. So dangerous heat continues. Dry conditions that will continue to dry and cure those fuels. That doesn't bode well for fire, even though the environment at the moment is safer due to the weakening of the winds. But look at some of those higher elevations still climbing into the 110 degree range. Why is this happening? High pressure is moving in and it looks to stay for a while. Look at me. I'm moving it forward into the future here. Saturday, high pressure still right here. Sunday hasn't even pushed through us yet. Let's go into Monday right overhead. And as I continue to move the slides, by Wednesday, the high will be about where my hand is. So, yes, we are staying on the hot and the dry side. Good news is, for the most part, the safer side uh, wind-wise because the winds are staying, for the most part, on that weaker side. All right, here's a look ahead at our temperatures. Yeah, we cool down with maybe a little bit of Delta breeze influence and the high starting to move into the Great Basin. But look at that. Look at Wednesday and Thursday. Still 108, 109 degrees. I mean, I hate to say that. We're going to cool down to 110 degrees. That's how hot it's been. And that's how hot it's going to stay for a while here in Northern California. Safer right now overall, though, for fire weather. That's good to hear, but not good when it comes to that heat. Did he just say cool down to 110? Yeah. There's something yeah. wrong with that. I know. I had to check myself. <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll check in with you later. Here is 